Bernie Madoff, the mastermind of the largest Ponzi scheme in history, has died. Susan, what do we have here? The $65 billion fraud from Bernie Madoff and really in the process of destroying thousands of lives and livelihoods. So Bernie Madoff dying in a federal facility in North Carolina. That's according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons. He was 82 years old, serving out a 150-year sentence behind bars. Now, last year, his lawyers tried to get him out early from prison, which was rejected by the courts. Madoff, of course, being caught in his Ponzi scheme back in 2008, unraveling during the global financial crisis. And he was using the money from new investors in order to pay out the existing ones, not actually making any money himself. So far, though, the courts have recovered about $13 billion of the estimated $17.5 billion that investors put into Madoff's business. But younger viewers, Stu, they may not remember or know who Madoff was and what he did, but there have been countless movies, countless books and TV series based off his incredible fraud and how he managed to yep. get away with it for almost two decades with so many people yep. really literally lining up to give him money. So I think his story will go down in infamy and probably as a cautionary tale. By the way, uh, Madoff was arrested on December the 12th, 2008. And I remember trying to cover this story. The Wall Street Journal, I think, had broken it. And we were trying to get to grips with how on earth this yeah. man could walk away with so much money, right. tens of billions of dollars. Then the story became the victims because people were wiped out up oh, and yeah. down the land on this story. I mean, people, yeah. thousands of lives and livelihoods, you know, people yeah. that lost everything in this process. And some of them were just so distraught that they took their own lives. I mean, the, the, yes. the, the fallout was wide and large, the collateral damage. It was indeed. Bernie Madoff, dead at the age of 82. Susan, thanks so much indeed.